get ready to embark on an unforgettable journey through the heart of Europe in Hungary, a true haven for bird enthusiasts. Together with my friend Tim Six, we've spent four incredible days traveling this stunning country, capturing on film the sheer beauty of marvel of birds and wildlife in their natural habitats. But this adventure is so much more than a visual treat. We not only showcase the breathtaking diversity of avian species, but also reveal the soulful moments that birding can bring. So get ready to be captivated, inspired and moved. Join us as we unveil the secrets of Wings of Wonder, a birding adventure. Today we are at the steppe in Hungary. It's the upper national park of the Kin Kunshagi National Park area. And Tim is just behind me filming some crested lark. And on the way here, it's it's actually great because you, you drive to a targeted place and while driving, it actually the birding begins. You see birds on the road directly, somewhere in the fields, and you don't uh, expect having these birds straight away on the road. So actually the way from the start to the birding place is one of the magic places to see birds, which you don't expect. And he's uh, just walking over there. I get him closer so you can have a nice shots of the crested larks, which are pretty endangered. Also in Germany, in the northern parts of Europe. So happy to see them here in a nice natural environment. We always have to take care a bit about the dogs because there's a lot of farmland over here and dogs are just free ranging around. Not that friendly always, but um, yeah, let's collect him a bit. The crested lark is a common bird of dry, open country and is often seen by roadsides. It nests on the ground laying three to five eggs which hatch after two weeks. In autumn the larks migrate to Africa and return in the beginning of spring. And then I got suddenly stopped by a car. Várja, big uh, hungari yes. fotós, yes. fotós, sok, sok, sok van ott mindig. Mm -hmm. De, van egy domb, mm -hmm. domb, domb. arról. Ah. Csak azért mondom, hogy... Köszönöm szépen, köszönöm szépen. Szia! Hello, hello! hello. <laughs> That's how it should be. There was just a, a random guy telling us there are some lovely birds out there and just beware, there's a farmhouse 300 meters and talking by hands and feet, you know getting the right spot, lovely. Oh, a big stark. European stone chat, beautiful male with a black head, breathing condition. We've just filmed a common crane flying over in beautiful light. We've had crested larks and that's a really good start to the day. This bird is slightly smaller than the stone chat. It's the wind chat. The stone chat has no pale stripe over the eye. This little guy really kept us busy. Winchats primarily feed on insects, including beetles, grasshoppers, caterpillars and spiders.
behind us you see pretty house cat, feral cat. And this is the big danger actually for all the birds. And a cat can kill per year thousands of hundreds, hundreds of birds. And especially in this habitat where you have the, the larks, the crested larks. Nesting on the ground. Nesting on the ground. You have some smaller mammals. They hunt even lizards down. They hunt yeah, insects. Nice. Yeah. So they kill for fun. They kill for fun. So keep the cats better in the house, not leaving them free ranged anywhere. You save a lot of lives outside there, especially birds. And this cat, uh, cat already walking like she's on the hunt, always on the hunt for fun. We just see these little mammals on the road. I'm not sure how they're called, but we'll definitely tell you in a few seconds. Um, Tim is filming with a little pillow out of the car, doing his best. We're blocking the whole road with the car now. Yeah. Here they are, the European ground squirrels. These little guys play around on the side of the road, maintaining the ecological system of grasslands. But someone has already got an eye on them. The Marsh Harrier always on the hunt to look out for his next prey. These birds simply dive through the air to catch small birds, wild foals, small mammals and even frogs. Lovely Marsh Harriers, a pair, obviously in their territory. I'm just looking out for other raptors now, I think this is a kestrel. We are directly on the road again, Tim, <laughs> Tim and I, we don't leave any chance behind getting some birds up here. It's quite a dangerous, you should be aware that, especially well here in Hungary, the people drive pretty fast down these narrow roads and um, yeah, safety first, parking the car on the, the right spot first, just encountered some, we were a little bit parking on the road and they, whoa, this was close to an accident. So yeah, let's respect each other here and um, see which birds we're gonna get. But safety first, park your car really nice before you step out, watch the mirrors. If you're focused on the birds, you easily forget about your own safety in the end. We move forward because Tim had a plane to catch in several hours, but we wanted to use every single second in Hungary to see those magic birds. This is if you don't take care where you actually put your tripod. And I went straight away into a huge, ah, oh, buggers. Huge ant nest. Shit. Oh. Next time, I learned that. We'll show you. Have you seen some great bustards? I have not seen any great bustards just yet. But we've only just started looking. The vegetation is not that high, or you still can see them from the uh, towers. Yeah. I see the information board tells us that there's 550 to 600, yeah. maybe pairs. This time we're saying that the cranes get smashed on the road. Mm -hmm. oh. Yeah, they could be everywhere. I don't know what this call is. Oh, they're oh, sitting up. Bomba. Nice. We'll get that from here. 
For me, this was the first sighting of a corn bunting. For some, it may look like a plain bird or even like a sparrow, but it's a rare bird facing a significant decline in population numbers across its range. So let's go to the fish ponds, Tim. The tower was great. How good? Yeah. I already said, as you said um, at the beginning, you start from one point driving to another one and on the way <laughs> you stop all the time because you see really great birds on the way. Oh, there's the marsh area again. Look, follow, yeah, there's an oriole. destination just warblers singing Harry is everywhere Currently drove to some huge fish ponds here, and um, unbelievable. The area is quite big, so it makes it harder to spot birds, to actually film birds. But the diversity in this place here is absolutely stunning. We saw purple herons, a lot of dark species, um, grey herons flying around. Potential is quite high because we don't really know what's in here, but we got a nice hint from a local ranger that here this place could be amazing but I guess now in the middle of the day phew, quite tough with the light with the sun it's getting hot we have about 30 degrees and um, get I guess uh, if you go up really in the morning here and walk by foot but it's long distances you see the roads and well, my car is not suited to that <laughs> yeah some have is having some fun because Tim has to leave in about two and a half hours to the airport back. Spotted a, a harrier on the ground, was feeling secure, but when you get out of the car, these guys are like me. That's a purple heron too. One other very important component of birding, and every bird watcher will tell you the same, is you need to have a good supply of coffee. And this little canister keeps coffee warm for a long time. Now the day just got better. These guys, uh, barn swallows, migrate to Africa each year, sub-Saharan Africa and then do the long flight all the way back to Northern Europe for nesting. They're actually a species that's in decline and they're not quite sure exactly why, but it's quite a miraculous thing because the parents build the nest in the barn or under the eaves 
and they'll have one or two broods, occasionally three broods of young. And then the parents will go back to Africa to exactly the same spot. And the juveniles then will, um, even the immature birds will then have to return to Africa with no leading from the parents, but they just know somehow where to go. And the same barn swallows will come back to the same building year after year after year. Quite amazing. Thank mm -hmm. you.